Hey Cancer, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your mid-month April 2023 general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what could be coming in for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. Do me a favor, if you enjoy these readings, do let me know. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, so you are aware of when I upload these readings for you. Be sure to hit that notification bell. If you're wanting a personalized tarot reading, check me out. I do them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. And let's just jump right in, right? Messages for my cancers out there. What do they need to know pertaining to their love life? What's happening? Messages for cancer, please. Messages for my cancers, please. All right, Cancer, the biggest challenge here is the Hermit, Virgo energy, and then we have the Empress in the verse. So, um, Cancer, you may be definitely in that Empress energy. You may be the Divine Feminine in this case. You may feel like you haven't been treated how you deserve to be treated. You may feel unloved, uncared for. You may feel like someone doesn't see your value and your worth. Something here isn't growing as a result of that. You may feel like a connection isn't being nurtured. So there's a situation here where you're you're doing a lot of deep thinking, the hermit. This could be a time of introspection, healing, self-reflection. You're you're trying to uncover something going deep. You may be connecting yourself with the divine, but there's the energy of finding answers, getting clarity, getting insight, right? Hidden knowledge. Because something just isn't thriving with the Empress in reverse. So it could be something regarding family, home, marriage. All right, in a recent past. And we have Virgo energy, Libra, and Taurus, okay? In the recent past, we have the Temperance in reverse, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. In the past, you gave something ample time, okay? And I'm saying that because the Eight of Pentacles, you were very much invested in this thing, this opportunity. Something here that maybe you weren't very clear about. Seven of Cups can speak about other people, other options. So was there someone you were dealing with cancer in the past that you weren't very clear about how they felt about you? You weren't clear about their intentions with regard to you, but you... You took your time or you gave this person ample time, okay? You know, there's an energy of like not jumping to conclusions, not overreacting. Even if there were illusions, confusion, seven of cups, other people, other options, okay? There's something here that you were still very dedicated to, eight of pentacles. You put your time, your energy, your money, your love, your resources into because you believed in it, okay? But I feel like the temperance is telling me that there may have been a point in time where maybe something had to be done. Something had to change. We have the judgment that just wanted to pop out. And that's the current energy. We have the four of swords and the sun. So yeah, I think that in the current energy, there's something regarding a decision that was made. And maybe it wasn't the best decision given the situation at hand. I do feel like you and this person have been not talking. There may have been some like separation or silencing of parties okay there's silence and energy here someone has been dealing with a lot of conflict behind the scenes they may be very much in their head overthinking a matter and there's an energy of just not being sure lacking direction not being sure what the future is going to look like the sun someone is looking for a breakthrough moment or a breakthrough clarity regarding a decision it even feels like someone is anxious and stressed out about a decision was made, hoping that it was not final, hoping that someone actually gets some kind of enlightenment and sees the bigger picture, okay? This could be a Leo here, but it almost feels like cancer. If you're not talking to someone, someone may be really, really stressed out about this and wanting to talk to you, but they may not know where they stand, right? Especially after a bad decision they've made on their part. The sun could be feeling like they're just not very confident. They're not very sure of themselves. They're not feeling so secure regarding reaching this happy place with you because of a decision that they've made. Now, external to you, Cancer, we have that Ten of Swords for your person, the Tower, the Devil in Reverse, and the Eight of Cups. Someone is definitely thinking about walking away from something here, something that is well, holding them back. I'm seeing a lot of changes happening within your person's energy, Cancer. And these changes, as uncomfortable as it may be, it may be definitely kickstarting things in the right direction. It's giving your person some kind of wake-up call, enlightenment, okay? 
that ten of swords in the tower you know very destructive this is hitting rock bottom um at a complete loss right there's a feeling of a ruin here um the tower brings uncertainty chaos drama conflict challenges something falls apart gets dismantled and now they're having to rebuild their life back up something is going on in your person's life cancer and it feels like it's it's your person at an all time low right now and it feels like they're even you know recognize that there's something that has to change right because literally spirit is pushing them to change I also see the devil as being like cancer your person recognizing that there's something they're having to cut cut out let go purge release okay snip snip because it's not serving your highest and greatest good so maybe this is a person maybe this is addiction maybe this is a self-limiting thought belief there's something they're having to part ways with walk away from because it's not making them happy so this could be a capricorn or even a scorpio now what's coming in is the magician in reverse gemini energy we have this king of pentacles energy taurus Virgo, capricorn and the six of pentacles in order to manifest what you and your person ultimately want in order to manifest this dream right this opportunity there is an energy of having to shuffle things regarding resources time energy money commitment okay king of pentacles represents these things so the six of pentacles is telling me someone is having to better manage these things um give a little bit more reciprocity right there's a six of pentacles energy so if your person has been giving too much to one thing they're having to find some kind of balance and um better better invest i want to say make these adjustments so that they can better invest and have an opportunity to manifest what they ultimately want okay all right, let's see what else we can find out. My messages for my cancers out there for mid-April 2023. The Empress and the Hermit. There's a lot to think about, right, with that Hermit. Maybe you've been in this uh, deep thinking energy for some time. You know, taking time for yourself, silencing those around you, the Empress. And there's growth coming from that. It feels like cancer. This is very necessary for you guys to really sit in this Hermit energy because you're getting insight you're getting clarity you're getting direction as to how to expand how to um there's something about growing expanding something creative a new idea planting seeds that's what the empress is about right new opportunities maybe there's something regarding family home okay and you may be wanting these things and there's something about finding getting clarity getting insight the hermit to be able to find out how to do that best now in a recent past with the temperance seven of cups eight of pentacles three of wands ace of cups and the moon it does feel like in the past cancer you were really waiting you're waiting for someone to offer you this big opportunity of love ace of cups you're waiting for this opportunity to come in but there was a lot of confusion as to when that was going to come in you gave this ample time the temperance and it just feels like the moon things weren't very clear you didn't know where things were going you didn't know how this person felt there could have been secrets right with the moon there could have been a lot of insecurities or fears that your person had that we're not talking about and it could explain why you were constantly waiting, waiting, waiting for your ships to come in or this new offer of love and it never came in. And it feels like no matter how hard you worked at it with the Eight of Pentacles, it still wasn't any closer to coming in. The Temperance, you gave it so much time, much more time than maybe you needed to give it. Give me the current energy, the Judgment, the Sun, and the Four of Swords. Page of Cups, Five of Swords, and a Three of Swords. So the current energy is someone is recognizing I've made some really awful bad decisions. I'm heartbroken by, I feel devastated. I know I devastated you. I broke your heart. There's a lot of loss and grief. And there's a feeling of like, I want to move away from conflict. I don't want to fight with you. If I have a sword, someone is recognizing that they caused a lot of conflict drama. They made things overly complicated. And maybe it has resulted in, you know, um, the devastation or breakdown within this connection. The judgment in reverse. Maybe they also made some really bad decisions, some mistakes, right, that were very big. And there's some stress because of it. I also feel like your person wants to apologize. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry for things I could have said that really hurt you. And your person could be questioning with the sun in reverse if there's still a future here, what the future may look like regarding the family, the home, the children, if there is even an opportunity to heal or recover from this, you know, the judgment is final. So someone may be questioning, like, did you make that decision to leave me? Did you make the decision to go on uh, down a different path? Someone is stressed out for sores because of decisions they've made in the past that may have long-term consequences. 
So I feel like part of this uh, stress that your person's feeling is cancer. They know that you have a decision to make. And the two of wands could mean that maybe there's two paths you have to take. Maybe there's two paths you're having to choose between. Two of wands, right? Maybe there's a decision that cancer you're having to make. And it could be regarding moving forward with this person or not. It may also be required that you forgive this person page of cups in order to move forward with them. And they could be stressed out about that. The sun reverse, being in a dark place, not seeing where things can go, not being sure and not being secure and confident. So yeah, let's take a look at the Ten of Swords and the Tower, okay? This is your person's energy. They're going through some kind of ending tower moment. I mean, ooh, the tower came out twice for your person. It could be a direct result of their deception, lying, cheating, deceiving, seven of swords. So it almost basically feel like there could be something that they did to themselves. Something that they did, lie, trickery, deception, cheating, and it backfired on them. Because we have two towers in their energy with the seven of swords and the ten of swords, right? What's going on here? So it feels like this is a consequence of their own actions or lack of actions. The Ten of Swords are definitely picking up the pieces and they've gone through some kind of really difficult ending in their life. And now there's a lot of thinking. It feels like your person is stopping to think, right? The hangman, looking at the mess they've made, looking at this tragedy, right? The towers. And the hangman is like now coming into awareness, now seeing things differently, seeing things from a different perspective, seeing how maybe they directly contributed to this. Now, the devil is in reverse. Let's get a sense of where the devil is. There could be something they're freeing themselves from, King of Cups. There could be something from their past that they're having to break away from. King of Cups could be something um, that has affected their ability to emotionally be there for you, Cancer, because that is your energy, King of Cups. Maybe they're uh, blocked. There could be a love blockage from their past, trauma, right? Childhood, past lover. There's something here that they're doing a lot of thinking about and it feels like maybe they invest properly or maybe that situation didn't turn out or play out well and so it feels like it's getting in the way of their ability to love you and connect with you on the emotional level to be there for you on an emotional level and that is something they're wanting to break away from break away from those unhealthy attachments and ties to their past that is creating emotional blockages in their life the devil right capricorn and the eight of cups you know there's something they're having to walk away from in order to set things right with you, in order to bring justice, right, do things the right way, the justice card is wanting wanting fairness, wanting equality, wanting to be right, fair, right, in some way. Um, they're going to have to set things right. And it may have been to walk away from something that may have emotionally um, disappointed them or did not make them happy or is no longer making them happy. What I'm seeing is that there's karmic justice that is due and cancer. It's coming your way. This could be a Libra, but it feels like more importantly, if your person has wronged you, hurt you, stabbed you in the back, did something that was just so out of character, so wrong, you didn't see it coming, there's justice coming in for you. All right, let's take a look. We have the magician, the seven, uh, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles, the king of pentacles, the chariot in reverse. Someone really wants things to take off with you and them. Um, I think that your person definitely has come a long way. The King of Pentacles could be a very mature energy. Um, really focus on their security, their stability, their resources, finances, mutual spending, that kind of thing. It feels to me like there is something where your person will reach out. Page of Swords could be trying to get some kind of clarity, you know, communicating, giving you some kind of information. There could be literally investigating a matter more, researching, but also giving you some kind of insight. There's something your person is going to bring up. And, you know, it could be some kind of communication as to why something was a failure or why something wasn't victorious. Um, but I think the biggest thing is that your person could be communicating as to how they can fix it. What adjustments they could make on their end, Six of Pentacles, where it could feel like, well, they're finally bringing me some kind of security. They're bringing me something with intention. They're bringing me an offer. Something, pentacles is tangible, right? So there's communication coming in and it could be also getting some kind of insight from you as to if you'd be willing to accept that in order for something to manifest and move forward, okay? So this could be Cancer, Gemini, it could be any sign. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great week ahead. Take care.